Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here again today for another video. And I just wanted to say I'm grateful for all the new followers. Thank you so much. I hope to do something for you guys here in the near future. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited for that. Um, you know, just to be able to give back to you guys. Thank you so much. Anyway, let's get this started. I'm excited again. I keep on saying that, but it's just the buildup is so good. Here we are again for a new video. This time it's an unboxing of this beast of a box right here. This is the Garmin Echo Map UHD 74 SD. Say that three times. <laughs> so let's let's get right into it. Um, first disclaimer: I always start with this. I'm still learning about the Garmin. Uh, this is new to me. Uh, Marine Electronics, even though with the Navy background, this type of just sonar and imaging equipment is new to me. It's outside of my wheelhouse, so um, you know, I'm, I figured I'd just jump right into it. There's no better way to learn by just doing. And so I figured let's just jump right into it. Um, I chose this specifically just for the size, I think it's per, it's a perfect balance of screen size, um, functionality, and of course the price. Um, I know it's better to have a bigger screen size, but sometimes, you know, it's just not cost effective. And so my disclaimer is I'm still learning. I'm still learning about marine electronics and navigation data. So, um, so today my goal is to just unbox this and we'll go through it together and let, let's get right into it. Um, I chose this specific unit, this specific bundle, because I feel, and this is just my opinion, it's a good mix of the transducer. This thing comes with a transducer, some don't. Um, so this, this specific model comes with a specific transducer. And the biggest feature, guys, is the Navionics data that it comes with. And I'll talk about that here a little bit more in, um, in moving forward, but um, let's get right into it, right? I chose this because it includes the GT54, doesn't say here, but it includes the GT54 UHD transducer. And um, UHD, I think, stands, and correct me if I'm wrong, down below comment, it's the Ultra HD, so Ultra High Definition transducer and it's just Garmin's way of saying it's a, a high definition transducer so uh, I'm not sure exactly what the frequency is a threshold for high, high def but uh, this unit is in that threshold I want to say 800 megahertz is a uh, high definition it produces a high definition uh, picture and so this that transducer has chirp C-H-I-R-P, and I might butcher this, but it stands for Compressed High Intensity Radiated Pulse. I think I got it. And so what that is, it's, it's instead of the traditional sonar where it's just one signal, one frequency, this has multiple signals, multiple frequencies, and then once that signal comes back from the transducer back to the, uh, to the receiving end, um, it converts it into like a better display because you have a better range of the frequency. Um, so again, for Garmin, their ultra high definition is the clear view. And that's just the Garmin uh, marketing word, clear view and side view. Clear view is their high definition and side view, it's, it's what it is, it's side view. Some manufacturers call it side scan. And so, moving on, I chose this unit because it's a seven inch display. It's looking at other displays, I think it's a good balance between size. Um, it has good direct sunlight, and the biggest thing, guys, it's a touch screen. So, you can definitely swipe left, swipe right. <laughs> and uh, one more thing about the GPS of this unit, it's um, five hertz, and so it's definitely faster, a stronger signal. I know there's more out there, but Again, it's, it's the higher power you go, the more you have to spend. So I think this is a perfect balance for my needs. Um, it has Navionics data. So what that is, is 
um, it's essentially it's called blue chart G3 but but what really that is it's it's all of the continental United States coastal so if you're looking at like the US map it's all of the coastal waters and that includes Alaska and Hawaii and the big lakes which is essentially the Great Lakes so you know Superior Lake Michigan and so there's that um, and finally one of the big choices why I uh, I want to say it's, it was more incidental. I didn't realize this until I actually researched this unit, but there's a new stand. Well, it's not new, but there's a standard out there. It's called the NMEA or NMEA 2000. And what that is, it's a standard where all sensors and um, different equipment from different manufacturers share this standard. It's almost like um, they, they talked about and say, hey, let's go with this standard. And so different um, electrical equipment for marine um, they all share a standard so they, they can interconnect and what that means for us as a consumer is different sensors can connect this Garmin can connect to other sensors so you can get stuff like engine data uh, GPS data from other units uh, controllers so motor controllers uh, you name it so I'll, I'll post a link up here you know uh, in the video and you can see what I'm talking about you know I know a picture will probably speak more of it and they kind of like look like the plugs that we had in the Navy which were mil spec which we called cannon plugs and so that's the standard imagine cannon plugs but just a smaller version all right so without further ado let's um, unbox this sucker right all right let's see what we have here all right, cool. I like it already. It comes with the cover, guys. So most uh, people, uh, most when you buy certain Garmin units, they don't even have a cover. I know I was looking into this a couple years back. This was separate. So uh, big ups on just including that. There we go. This is the actual unit. So let me just take a look here so we can see the actual unit. All that. Out of the way here. This is the actual unit, seven inch screen. I love it because it looks sturdy. Um, you know, weight. I'll fire this up here in a little bit. And if you notice, there's um, um, they have a pin system where this will actually connect to a base, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. And so, what makes this is you can remove it from the base so you know at the end of the day bef right before you travel and trailer your 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 craft you can just remove this so that's awesome right um, that cover goes right on top here so let's put this all here and what's next so you got documentation awesome that's the documentation for that This is, so I think this is um, one of those clamps that reduce noise. Uh, we'll, I'd have to figure that out, but it does look like it's for um, the Nemea 2000. And I think that you clamp that on, it's a ferrule, uh, it's basically a, a certain mineral that um, reduces interference. So. Uh, you would just clamp that on there. And then I'm guessing this is, uh, it has a fuse on it, so this is like the power cable. And this is one of the Nemea standards I was t telling you guys about. It's just a plug there. So there's that. And here is the mount. So let's check that out. So here's the mount. And in a previous video, which I'll link over here too, is I showed you the mount that I installed on my Yamaha and the base of that you would just bolt on to here and so it would sit right on that mount and then this if you notice there's a plug here the, with the pins and your unit would just basically mount to here so it would look like that so there's that it's cool so let's put that out of the way here See what else is here all right so I'm guessing this is the transducer um, let's check it out all right 
right, so this is the in transducer. I love that it uh, has um, cable, lots of cable, so lots of routing options. Um, I think this is the, so this is the GT54 UHD um, transducer that came with this bundle. Again, not all of them come with a transducer. You can get this specific unit just by itself if you already have a transducer and you're just looking to upgrade. So, you know, look into it. I know the Garmin website has multiple choices. Uh, in my case, I chose to mount this, uh, select this because uh, for the clear view and side view transducer. So I like it. Here's another, um, here's showing the Nemea 2000 uh, standard. And so this is how it would connect to the back. Love that has a lot of cable. So there's that. And this appears to be um, the mount. So if you saw my previous video and I'll link on here, I have um, aluminum bracket because I've read and because of Lauren from Boondocks PWC um, suggested that these tend to break and so because it's just plastic, a light plastic, and so, so you would want to replace it with a, a sturdier aluminum one. And so that's why we're going with that. Um, I think it's over here, I already see it. And so uh, one of the brackets that Boondocks PWC provides is the bracket, is this one, but it's aluminum. So you would use that for, to mount it. I'm, I will definitely for the install I'm skipping this completely and I'm just uh, replacing it with the one from Boondocks PWC. I'll link that on the video too so you guys can check it out. What else do we have here? So here is a looks like a clamp. Uh, it has the Nemea clamp here and I'm guessing this is just so uh, in the military, we use these type of clamps to basically uh, this would you you would use this to finally install it once you're installing it to the back of the of the connector. Sorry, not this one, but the back of the base, which has all the connections. And what this does, guys, it helps you. It helps minimize um, the hole that you're gonna drill if you were to drill through your hull. Um, because if you could imagine if you had this with these built into it, it would make for a bigger diameter hole that you would need to drill, right? So I'm guessing they did it this way where you would add this later on. That way your diameter of hole doesn't have to be that, uh, that big just because, you know, um, the bigger the hole, the bigger chance of failure um, structurally, and you don't want to do that, uh, especially below the waterline. I'm guessing that's what they did, but you know, comment down below if I'm wrong, if I totally missed the mark on that. So, okay, so there's that. Um, what else is here? I'm guessing more documentation, but this is documentation specifically for the transducer. And sure enough, that's what it is. And this is a template for the transducer, and it's just showing you the actual dimensions of the um, the mount uh, with the guide holes and drill holes, and it shows you um, the optimal location for uh, placing your transducer. So very very cool that Garmin does that. And I'm guessing this is here. Let me just. Remove it from the plastic so we can see it clearly. Uh, it appears to be um, basically the cover for when you're mounting it through a cable. So if you imagine this is your hull, if this is your hull and you drilled through it to mount this wire, this would sit on top of that hole and then you would definitely have to seal it make sure it's watertight, and then the cable would come out here. I don't know, sorry if I'm not showing that properly on the video. So that, this is what I think that's for. 
And, um, but for my purposes, in a future video, I'll show you that I'm not going to do any type of drilling on my, uh, on my Yamaha just because it's not, um, for me, I don't feel it's optimal to route it that way. I like things to be removable because my jet ski, my wave runner, I also use uh, for pleasure with the family. So, you know, in the future, I'm, uh, I plan to just be able, I like being able to remove it if that's my needs. Um, again, so this is another uh, plastic adapter for when you're mounting the transducer uh, and the transducer bracket, which I already said I wasn't going to use. Um, yeah, guys, and that's pretty much it. Quick unboxing video. Really, um, I just wanted to show you guys what's included in this box um, and show you why I went with that. Again, it's the Ecomap. UHD 74 SV with the transducer. I'll, sh I'll send you guys a link. I'll post the link here on this video of the actual um, model on the Garmin website. But this, I went with this guys um, just because of reviews. Um, you can't really go wrong with going with um, other like Lawrence and others out there because uh, at the end of the day, I feel that they're all the same and for what I need, you know, as a beginner, um, you know, just for for fishing off of my skis, this is more than enough. And so, yeah, a nice and quick. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below or, you know, message me directly. I'll be happy to help. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one.